Yo, what's good guys? Welcome back to another Attack on Titan. This will be Season 4, Episode 16. This is the finale, and obviously with every finale that I do, I have to wear my the shirt and tie. A quick recap before we get into the finale. This time it was about Zeke's upbringing. It was very similar to Grisha's episode of when he was younger. So now it's kind of like... We're, we're starting to get everyone's kind of background story now. We've had Reiner's and Zeke's this season. We had a Grisha's last season. We're starting to see everyone's kind of point of view in this story. Zeke was basically befriended by someone called Mr. Kaseva. Tim? Tom Kaseva? And he was the one that originally came up with the suspicion about the, uh, the founding Titan and the Titan with raw blood. He's kind of... He gave that information to Zeke as they were playing catch. And Zeke kind of figured it out straight away about um, the euthanization of Eldians, putting a stop to all of it. If the person with the founding titan power makes all Eldians like not bear kids anymore. So it, it will literally be the end of Eldians. But there's got to be complications with that because they are themselves Eldians. And it's a big sacrifice to make. If you want to wipe out your own kind for the sake of humanity like saving everyone else it's kind of a big step to take i'm not gonna lie like you're if i was an eldian and i had to and i knew that i wouldn't be able to bear kids and our like everyone that i knew is going to be wiped out basically and they, none of us would be able to carry on like through generations like i don't know it would kind of hit me hard so kind of big up Eren and Zeke about the euthanization of Eldians but I think something else is going on something else is happening especially with Eren he's totally going against Armin and Mikasa saying he hates Mikasa and he beat up Armin I think he's just trying to protect them from any more hurt like Eren is just going to go alone now he's kind of like a lone wolf and his Jaegerists behind him like even if they're not with him he's he's probably gonna do this shit anyway like he just have he just happens to have backup but anyway let's get on to episode 16 the finale this one is called above and below someone actually linked me a video of like a teaser i think i haven't even looked at it yet it's like a teaser for the next part to attack on titan i knew there'd be a part two it's too no way way too much information to be taken in i honest i think that's why i was getting a little bit annoyed in the previous reactions because i thought the anime is coming to an end and then we started finding out new new clans like the hizuru stuff so i was just a little bit like what the fuck man all this information when there's only four episodes left but now there's a part two it kind of makes more sense so i'm more open-minded now so this is it guys this is the finale of part one of season four uh yeah Let's go. Could be something. Ah, uh, yeah. Here we go. I know. I know they both survived. 100%. Shifted his consciousness into his head. Who's that? Who's that? No way. No way. What the hell? So he's not being eaten, he's being stored. What the fuck? I've only just noticed I'm wearing one headphone. <laughs> Let me mute the intro for a bit, man. What the hell was that? Who was that girl? He, he literally he saw like a blonde girl momentarily, and then thought to himself, "Am I dying?" So he's being stored, man. He ain't dead. I thought he was gonna get eaten then, and I was like, "Are you fucking kidding me?" This whole like Aaron meeting up with him was just fucking pointless because he's he's just gonna be eaten by a random titan. I thought. Oh my god. <laughs> if he got eaten then, I would have got off. 
I would have gone mad. <laughs> I would have gone fucking mad if he got eaten then. But he must be now. Nah, yeah, he must be being stored in the stomach then, like surrounded by all that blood. Maybe it makes him heal faster or something, regenerate quicker. They've all got armbands on as if it's fucking Marley, man. Segregation again. Without knowing a thing. Nah, big man. Ain't like that. Yeah. Too many innocents. It's all for the bigger picture, I'm telling you. Ah! Fuck the ごめん、ごめん、ごめん。ごめん、ごめん。ごめん、ごめん。ごめん、ごめん。ごめん、ごめん。ごめん、ごめん。ごめん、ごめん。ごめん、ごめん。ごめん、ごめん。ごめん、
No way, man. So why did she kill his guard? If she was just going to join sides with him. そして<笑> <笑>ジークにはなぜそんな特別な能力があるのか知ってる。さあな。あんたは知ってるのか。いいえ。誰も知らなかった。ジーク以外は。Who's <笑> that? Can't turn because Gabby will die. So <laughs> fuck no. Fuck, 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 fuck. Don't hit me with it to be continued. Uh, Armin can't even turn. What, what, what? Oh my... Oh fuck, this is Marley's retaliation. This is the surprise attack. Fuck. Ah, knew it. Knew it. Fuck, man. I was, I got fucking bamboozled there right at the end. Picture was pointing at Erin, and I was like, oh, she's pointing at Yelena. She's a double bluffer. But nah, man, it's basically um, Picture wasn't going against Marley. She doesn't trust Marley, but she trusts the comrades she fought alongside. I should have known as well the intro when it was. Zeke on the floor, just basically the top of his torso in his head. And he was thinking to himself, am I dying? And then a titan picked him up, ripped open her stomach, shoved him inside. I should have known then it wasn't going to go into more, because it's the finale, and they need to focus more on what's going on inside the walls. We still, we still don't know if Levi survived as well. <laughs> oh my god. Right. So part two, man. Part two is going to be big, especially at the beginning. It could, it's, I feel like the beginning of part two is going to be the beginning of part one of part of season four. Where we first saw Gabby, Falco, Udo, Sophia. Like, it's just, it's going to be another air assault. And we're going to see how Eren can defend, man. What, what, what is Eren going to do? Eren is basically, see, he's got the Founding Titan, the Attack Titan. And he's got the Warhammer Titan. Who else is on his side here as Titans? He's going to be against Galliard. I'm pretty sure Peach is going to turn once she's not shackled to uh, Gabby anymore. Which I'm sure will be imminent. Like, that will be straight away. I'm sure even in part two, we're not even going to see Gabby and picture chained together like they'll like they gabby would have been freed picture's gonna turn then it's gonna be two against one right and ryan is gonna drop out the sky again like he did in episode one of of this season and then it's gonna be three versus one but they've also got four airships above as well so reiner and magath were on one of them 
who's on the other four. It could be like it could be more than Marley here. I think I think we're meant to think that it's just Marleyans doing a surprise attack. But it could be everyone. Like you got four airships. It could be Rhino, Magath and all the other soldiers in one and the other four could be all titans or something but then Zeke's not around to turn them with his scream so who's in the other four man okay I don't know who's in the other four but that's interesting because Zeke isn't there with his scream ability but something has to go down man but anyway Eren has to find a way to defend himself man He's right. We haven't seen Eren with his Warhammer Titan abilities, but I reckon he's just going to kick ass, man. He really is going to kick ass. He can form a crossbow. He can form a whip. He can form whatever he fucking wants in his hands. But with his ability, so with the Warhammer Titan, uh, the girl wasn't in the back of the neck. She was down below, attached to some pod. Is that going to be the same for... It can't be the same for Eren. He has to still stay in the back. So defeating him is going to be hard enough anyway. So I think, I think Reiner, Galliard and Pikachu as their Titan forms, I think it's a fair fight against Eren. Eren would maybe have Armin if he didn't punch him up and lock him in a cell. But this is what I mean. If Armin and Mikasa weren't locked in a cell, they would just be put in danger, man. Because you just know... As soon as the ground rumbled beneath Eren, showing Galliard, you you just know Mikasa would have been there trying to save Eren again. Like, I think it's time for Eren to be on his own and kind of fight on his own to see whether he can do it. He Like, he is capable of it. Every single one of his comrades that have been with him on this journey, they're all down below, man. you got Yelena, you got Unyakapun. He's only surrounded by people at the moment that he's really only just met. Everyone that he's grown up with is downstairs, pretty much. So he ain't, he isn't going to have that guidance. He doesn't have Irwin there with him. He doesn't have Levi. He doesn't have any of the OG scouts, apart from his little uh, Jaegerists with... Nah, because Flock ain't even there, is he? Flock's out in the woods with Hanjizo. They were going towards the explosion as well. So we don't even know what's going on with them. So Eren is literally on his own. What's Yelena going to do against three titans? She's going to do fuck all. So their plan is to still retake the founding titans. So Eren, there was some truth in what he was saying to Pikachu. Like, your orders wasn't to kill the founding titan, it was to retake it. So although Pikachu told Gabby... That she's against Marley. She doesn't trust Marley. But she trusts her comrade she, her comrade she fought alongside. I'm guessing their goal is still the same. It's just to retake the Founding Titan for Marley. But there has to be a better... There must be a secret plan. There's so many secret plans going on, man. It's kind of annoying. And the fact that I'm trying to sit here figuring it all out is kind of annoying as well. <laughs> like, we had that flashback. Not, no, not a flashback. We had a vision... Of Pikachu sitting across from her dad. She admitted that her dad is getting a bit sad and depressed. Because her time is coming to an end. And she wants to kind of prove to him that Eldia is going to have a good future. But how can Eldia have a good future if you're going to retake the Founding Titan? Like how can, Pe how can Pikachu stand there with Eren and that? watch Galliard come through the rubble and like like a fight is going to go down and there's a lot of innocent civilians around a lot of women and a lot of children so how can she kind of stand there knowing a war or a battle is about to go down and literally 10 minutes ago she was saying that she she was telling her dad that she wants a better future for Eldia like she can't stand like she's kind of contradicting herself a little bit by doing all this like, you're not going to get a better future for Eldia by being on the side of Marley and fighting Eldia, you know? Like, it's not going to help. Even Gabby was like, I thought you hate, I thought you hated. I thought you were, I thought you were on their side a minute ago. What's going on? Like, even Gabby's a bit like, who do I, who do I trust? Like, I'm still a kid and all these adults are telling me different things. Yeah, I just had to get that out. Had to get that out.
and before the attack before the attack it i feel like paradise island is turning into the new mali maybe they're going to use that like mali like their plan is for mali to be 100 percent malians they don't want one eldian in their fucking like where they live they want like they're going to occupy paradise island but still keep Eldians at bay. Like that's the most they can keep them at bay. But because of the whole rumbling thing, they're kind of, they were kind of keeping it back. They were keeping back almost. Not really wanting to test the waters. But now that they know that Eren has the founding Titan and they needed to do a surprise attack, I guess this is the best moment to try and retake it. And once they retake, if they if they do retake it. They're going to turn the whole Paradise Island into, a, into a, in, an internment zone kind of thing. They're just going to keep Eldians there. Marlians are going to sit on top of the walls with their guns. Like, it's going to be nuts. It's literally going to be a lot not, like fucking Nazi Germany. Because already they've got the red bands for the, for the wine. Like, they knew about the wine, but they drank it, I think. Like, they were cooperating uh the black bands were for the ones who drank the wine but didn't know anything about it and the white ones are uh the white ones are for the jaegerists so already it's starting to take form <laughs> it's not even founding titan's not even been retaken yet and a bit of marley is already inside uh the capital but that was a good ending i must admit that was a really good ending i might not have shown it in my reaction i think i knew I just knew it was coming to an end. It was kind of like uh, it's the finale. And as soon as I saw the ground shaken beneath Eren and saw Galliard come out, I knew it was going to be the end of the episode. I was, I was just waiting for that to be continued to come up. That's why my reaction wasn't as aggressive. I was kind of... I knew it was coming, man. I just... I used to have reactions where... I didn't know the ending was coming, but now it's like I'm getting used to it, and I don't like it. It's kind of taken my reaction away. But if if Eren wants any kind of head start on this fight, he's going to have to grab Galliard there and then, because he's the only one that's transformed so far. If he can put... He must know that the next thing they, they want to do is free Gabby from Picture, so Picture can transform. So Eren's going to have to work that out and just go for Galliard straight away. Or even go for Picture. So they can have like a standoff and maybe a talk. They might even talk about it, man. All this hype with the five airships in the air. And what was that thing as well, man? I remember Hizuru, that lady Kiyomi. She un... She was unravelling something. I think she delivered something as well to the docks. She filled something with ice ice stone it was an airship with ice stone in it so maybe we're gonna see that too so if the fucking huzuru are gonna come to eren's rescue like don't forget that they're also his kind of saviors as well and mikasa is also in danger technically and mikasa is meant to be this next in line or something like she's a she's a clan leader next in line so they're going to have something to say. If anything happens to Mikasa, then they're definitely going to have something to say about that. So I can see them I can see them helping Eren out in this fight. They might even be able to shoot down the airships with what they've got. Cuz ice the ice, I don't know what it's called, man. It's called like iceberg stone or something like that. It's it's put in it's made from the gas to put into the maneuver gear like it's something of to do with that it's in his mind underground where levi used to live but that's what's in wherever it was under that massive sheet at the docks that lady kiyomi kind of brought with her and there was a few scenes i didn't get as well like when armin started crying at yelena's story i thought it was a trick at first but it was actually genuine like i didn't really i don't really understand i don't really i didn't really understand it and Yelena's plan, well, I'm, I'm hoping it's her plan anyway, because she, if she's lying, I'm going to be pissed off. It seems like pe people are people are telling 
everyone their mission, but it seems to be false half the time. They don't even mean it. But Yelena's plan is for the euthanization of Eldians, but she also wants to fuck Marley up and then go back to her hometown. I think that's what's her plan, what, what Yelena's plan is, and all the rest of them in the little suits, a bit like what I'm wearing, really. That's what that's what kind of Yelena and Onyaka Puna are wearing at the moment. How do they keep their suits so crisp as well? It's kind of off topic, but how do they do it? They ain't got an iron, have they? Where do they get all this stuff from? Whenever I see them in their black suits, like I just, and the white shirts, I never, like, they're so crisp. <laughs> There's no creases. How do they how do they keep in check like that? That ending, man, I can't I can't stop looking at that ending. Like Yelena Her face is her face looked fucked. And that's why she wanted to get her into the roof. She was like, Yeah. Oh, if you come to the roof I can I can point out all the intruders for you. <laughs> but it was actually to get him out in the open so fucking Galliard can fuck him up. But you can, <laughs> you can see Yelena's face and Onyakapun's face a little bit during that. Onyakapun is just like, oh my god. Yelena's like, what the fuck? Like, she did not expect this. They look so cool with their shirt undone as well. And it's just like, in that moment there, they don't look cool. <laughs> they, they look like they're, just, they're about to shit themselves. They, can't, they literally can't do anything. Have they got even? Have they even got anti-Titan stuff? They might do. They might have anti-Titan stuff. But as as of this moment, Yelena cannot do shit unless under that suit it's like Narnia or something, and she's got like maneuver gear, or she's got like thunder spears or something, man. And I kind of, I really don't want Reiner to die too, but he kind of has to, doesn't he? Because his times, everyone's time is almost up, so they kind of have to get this show on the road. They're gonna have to fight. Well, yeah, the surprise attack, isn't it? This is the surprise attack. It's like it's now or never. And they chose. I think they chose the best time to attack too. Fucking Armin's in, Armin's in jail. He can't transform. That's that's literally the colossal title. That's the colossal titans, pretty much defeated. Here and then, here and now. Too many innocents plus everyone around Armin in his cell is gonna die. So great. Well done. Well done, Erin. And Yelena, that face on that, Yelena's face right now. I bet she's wishing she pulled Armin out when she's he started laughing at her, at her story and thought it was cute. She should have been like, "Oh, I'm gonna trust my instincts on this one." Do you want to come out for a walk with Erin? See what's going on. I'm talking bullshit now. Anyway, I might even stop it there, man. <laughs> Great finale, honestly. Bit confusing with the information, but that's just me by now. You guys know that I just get confused now. Like, I can't cover up the truth anymore. <laughs> like, I just get mad confused sometimes. Anyway, I'm stopping it there, guys. So, thank you guys for watching this reaction to the finale of Season 4, Part 1 of Attack on Titan. If you enjoyed this reaction, you can watch the full reactions to this episode over on my Patreon. You can also watch the full reactions to the previous 15 episodes of Season 4. So... The whole of Season 4 is basically on my Patreon to watch right now. As is Season 1, 2 and 3 of Attack on Titan. They're all in full. And I normally would say, if you're watching this episode on YouTube, go onto my Patreon and you can see more episodes that haven't been released yet onto YouTube. And they'll be on my Patreon too. But we have to wait until the winter for Part 2. So... Unless you're watching this in like 2022 or something, then yeah, part two will be on my Patreon to watch. But if not, <laughs> yeah, you'll have to wait till winter like like me. But yeah, thanks guys. And I, I guess I'll see you for part two of Attack on Titan in the winter, man. I'll see you guys in about what, nine months? Nah, six, seven or eight months, maybe. Yeah. I'll see you guys then. Take it easy.